in the studio. It's Sunday, and I just wanted to shoot this short video really on what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, where I'm going, and who I'm going with. Tomorrow I leave for Tanzania, Africa, in route through Los Angeles to Amsterdam to Tanzania. And I've never traveled that far before in my life, never been to the continent of Africa, and I'm super excited. So the true purpose of this mission of this trip is to summit to the very top of Mount Kilimanjaro, 19,000 feet. And myself, Matt Blanton's already over there, Carol Johnson, Gary Carl are all going together as part of the Fittest Tribe Alive, and I'm, I'm just so excited to do it. I wanted to shoot this video and just share with you guys preparation, planning, packing, and what is required and what the essentials are with the hope and, and possibility that this inspires you to travel the world. I've always been slightly uh, afraid of going to places I've never been before and this is definitely one of those fears that I'm hoping to face and when I get back not only am I showing my kids, my wife, my family and my tribe that you can do anything you want to, you can overcome any kind of fears and objections and restrictions in your life if you choose to do so. So it starts right now. I, obviously, I'm packing things up. I'm ready to go tomorrow. So uh, I have two nine and eight hour flights. So not only do I have to make sure that I have all this gear for when I get there, but I got to make sure I can get through sitting down for 17 hours. So I've got some really cool things that are going to help me do that. Obviously, uh, external battery pack, one that I can plug my laptop in so that I can continue to do some work. Uh, obviously, I've got headphones. Uh, I've got a ton of magazines. I've got some really good magazines that I've been waiting to take with me. I've got some really good books. I've got some personal notes from the kids. Most important thing, you've got to double, triple check. Make sure you have your passport. It's up to date. Mine had actually expired, so I had to go through the process of getting it ready, getting it prepared so that I could go and travel, making sure your visa is in that passport as well, and then taking a photocopy of that and hiding it somewhere safe. Next piece of this thing is taking uh, what is considered to be mandatory medicine, right? So obviously malaria is really big right now. We'll start taking these pills right now, two days before going to the malaria zone and up to seven days afterward. Um, we had a typhoid shot, we had a tetanus shot. I'm allergic to sulfa medication, which means I cannot take altitude sickness medicine called diamoxin. I had to take a replacement, which is a steroidal drug called dexamethasone. And again, that's only if the altitude starts to kick in and I start to get altitude sickness. From what I understand, there's a ton of people who have done this trip. My godmother, Toby, she's done the trip and she just says, you have to take it slow. Right? The term that they use over and over again is pole pole, which means slow, slow. Well, that's a challenge for somebody like me. So I have it just in case. I had to get the backup. But that's about it. I mean, other than that, you really just have to protect yourself, uh, protect your immune system. I'll take uh, some Tailwind, which is something that I use, the kids use. We've used it in World's Toughest Mudder, just to help with a little bit of liquid supplementation for some fuel if I need to get it. I'm a big snacker, so I can't depend on the food that they're going to have, especially on the airplane. So I'll take my own seeds and nuts and beef jerky. I pretty much have two of everything. So two headlamps, two hats, two jackets. And I'm going to get into some of the, uh, the really essential stuff in a minute, but this is since we're talking about food and supplementation and nutrition. I'm a coffee drinker. You guys know that. So I'm super excited. I got some Bulletproof Coffee Instant Mix. I've got some Starbucks instant coffee, and then check this out, if you haven't seen this yet, my wife surprised me with this, coconut oil packages, these things are amazing, they're money, I'm going to be able to take them with me so that I can have some coconut oil for the trip. Alright, so hydration, really important, yes, they're going to boil water, they're going to purify it, but just to take things a step further, I obviously bought one of these life straws, this will help get rid of some of the toxins that are in that so that I hopefully don't have to take any medicine to help with my stomach irritation. A 100 ounce camel pack with a thermo straw so that the water, the straw doesn't freeze uh, at, when I get down to zero degrees, and then a backup. Again, you gotta have those backups for just about everything. I'm planning on taking pieces of equipment so that I can take videos and take photos of this. So this is a stable cam. 
so that I can continue to deliver some videos and some messages and inspire people from the top of the world. Call your cell phone provider. I called mine yesterday and I got an international plan which allows me to just have some data and some roaming which is really cool so I can call, check in on the kids, check in on my family and continue to deliver some messages. All right, let's get into the fun stuff here, right? This is the really important stuff. I'm going with my Oakley boots. You guys know I'm a big fan of them. A pair of socks for every single day, right? You don't have to change your underwear every day. There's no showers. We're not going to be washing anything but our teeth and possibly our hands, but a pair of wool socks for every single day. Obviously a hat. On the last day, on summit day, we leave at midnight. And from experience with people I've talked to, you have to be wearing a hat even at night at midnight because you're so close to the sun, you're so close to the equator that you will get sunburned. So making sure I have a really solid hat for that. Uh, you see I'm wearing a head protection, I'm wearing a hoodie, there's a ton of headgear here. Uh, bag bomb to get rid of any of all those blisters, mole skin, a little extra um, uh, mosquito repellent, making sure that I have to stay away from that. Spikes for my Oakley boots. And then this is a zero degree sleeping bag, right? Zero degrees, I have to be able to sleep as close to zero degrees and as comfortably as possible. I've got a wool liner just for a little extra warmth. I've got a small uh, air mattress, mini air mattress that I'll blow up for a little protection because we're not sleeping in tents, we're sleeping outdoors, we're, we're sleeping uh, out in the wilderness and as we get higher and higher and higher it gets harder to sleep especially at altitude so just making sure that I have as much comfort as I possibly can going through this thing. Here's my pack, uh, this is a three day pack so I'll be able to pack everything up that I need to take with me. Um, leaving a small bag back in Tanzania at base camp until I get back from the trip. Alright, let's talk about layers really quick. Uh, this is my outer shell, compliments of the US military. Thank you, my, my, my brother Jade McLeod for getting me this gear. But it's going to be all about layers, right? Layer one for my pants is going to be my skins. Excuse me. My underwear. Then my skins. Layer two. Uh, snowboarding cotton pants right below that. Layer three, I got a pair of snow pants here. That's all lower area. Changing the socks every single day, changing the underwear one to two days, just depending on it. That's part of the summit, that's part of the hike. We're talking about upper body layer. I'm wearing skins for my first layer. I'm wearing uh, thermal protection for my second. Uh, I'm wearing a sweater for my third. Hoodie for my fourth. And then, of course, the snow jacket that, I, that I've snowboarded in zero degree weather for as fifth. And then if it rains for any reason, uh, for any reason top and bottom again. A couple things that I'm taking uh, as reminders. I'll have a flag. Uh, a lot of you guys will get a chance to see that later on. And just a big shout out to my family and the community and the people who supported me that I can show them my appreciation at the top of the world. Um, and then, you know, a big part of this is what we're really trying to do to raise awareness uh, save One Life is, is an important thing. I'm going to share the link below. So if you want to donate anything, any kind of money, I'm taking a ton of old baseball hats, which I understand the locals absolutely love and the kids. Uh, I'm taking $52 bills to give to the kids and the people that have helped us along the way. I'm, I'm taking some trinkets uh, from my godmom, Toby, some, some stuff from the kids. Al Michael, uh, my, my brother, who uh, became a pararescue man who's now saving lives on the top of Alaska in Kodiak. I'm going to take a reminder for him. Uh, and then I got a couple other little things just to remind myself for years to come how amazing this journey and this experience has been. So I just wanted to share this with you guys today. Thank you so much. I'll be gone for two weeks, leaving tomorrow back in two weeks. I'll do my best to check in, uh, obviously, and share this experience with you. But for those of you guys out there who are afraid of anything, let's face our fears, man. That's the only way we're going to get better and improve every single day. And it's not just about trekking across the world or hiking to the top of the mountain. But the idea is that this challenge, this that I'm overcoming, I come back to, I come home to, I put it in my pocket, and then I'm able to attack the other challenges of life in this world that we know that can sometimes be such a struggle. So, appreciate it. Luke Kime, Fittest Tribe Alive. We'll see you guys on the top of Africa. Peace.